Hi Virgos! This is going to be your February 19th to the 26th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for February, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the Romance Angels Oracle deck. If you haven't already and you want to join the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I will also be doing $5 questions and $35 readings for the month of February. Okay, so I'm going to get into your reading. I'm going to start off with your Romance Angels. So let's see, what do we have for Virgo? What is the main overall energy for the week ahead for Virgo? The main love energy for Virgo. Oh, so we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so let's see. So that, oh, I guess you guys have two. So uh, chemistry is the mutual feeling between you guys, you and whoever you're dealing with. For you, it's a retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world and you deserve love, you are lovable. And on your partner's side, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So you guys could definitely be dealing with somebody who need, who's in the process of needing to heal from whatever they were dealing with before. This could be something you don't know or something that you do know. But I feel like a good way to always tell is if this person is a little bit distant, you know. One second they can open up, one second they won't. It's usually because they're scared they've been hurt before or something like that but I feel like your person is going to be working this month on or this week on you know forgiving and just trying to heal from whatever it is that they need to heal from in order to move forward with you and I feel like it's because they really like you you guys have a strong um, magnetic attraction and they feel like you deserve love you deserve the love of a lifetime and they don't want to give you some like half-ass you know connection they really want to give you what you know what you deserve and some of you may be going like taking some time uh, alone it may be because of the way that they've been or it just may be a good time this week to just kind of distance yourself a little bit for them in order for them to heal and you know when they come back they'll miss you of course and things will be a lot better so I see that as um important to just kind of take some time while your partner is in the healing process or the person that you're dealing with is going to be in that process so on your side wow interesting we have the two of cups and the two of swords so i definitely feel like you guys have a connection that is it's mutual okay you guys both feel the same way towards each other you guys both think the same thoughts about each other, you feel the same way, you guys want the same things, you may not be on the same level to get the same things that you both want right now, but you do want the same things. I see that you're going to be going within and trying to make a decision based on what you should do regarding this person. I feel like things may be at a stalemate right now and you're just a little bit confused because of that, but you guys are going to go in and just kind of take some time by yourself and do a little bit of healing and just kind of trust that what is going to happen is for the best i feel like after you take some time for yourself that's what you're going to be able to do but i do see this as a soulmate connection i mean you guys definitely um are experiencing something that is not something that would come around like every day you know yeah the two of cups i just feel like this could be someone that you've known for a while if not it's someone that you met recently and um, you met them recently, but um, the, like the feelings that you guys have, it just feels like you've known them for a very long time. You guys feel very happy when you're together, and I feel like if this person is like a little bit afraid to, con uh, to commit or afraid to connect with you, on a certain level sometimes it's not when you guys are in person when you guys are in person is when they let go because like they can't help it you know and then maybe they distance themselves a little bit when they are away from you or something like that but when they're with you it's like they can't even if they wanted to they open up because you guys just have this amazing feeling together 
On your partner's side, we have justice. So you could be dealing with a Libra. I feel like they're going to get the justice that they need regarding this situation, regarding, you know, whatever it is that they need to heal from. And they're going to be able to move forward. They're going to be able to find balance in their life where they're not worried about the past, worried about anything that they needed to heal from because they've healed from it. And they can just work on balancing, starting something with you and having balance within that instead of, you know, how unbalanced it was before. So on your side, we have the Magician. I always see this as a Scorpio card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like... So Scorpio's actually got the Two of Cups and the Magician. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. If you are, I would definitely go look at that reading because um, based on what I'm seeing so far, it does seem like the energies are similar. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I definitely go check out the reading for the Scorpio. So I feel like... What you're going to be doing on your time alone, some of you may be trying to manifest this, trying to work with your energies, work with the elements, and manifest what it is that you want with this person. I see that this is going to be a good week for you to manifest what you want, and, you know, good things are going to start coming, good things are going to start happening. It's like you taking the time alone to think on your own and meditate and heal and connect or whatever it is that you're going to be doing is going to be working the relationship without you even working the relationship. So it's like by taking this time, you're going to be manifesting the relationship that you want without even having to do anything. Too many. Okay, so your partner has the, uh, the Five of Cups. So I feel like with the Five of Cups, your partner, um, they're definitely, yeah, they're definitely going to be in a time this week where they're kind of, you know, thinking back about the past, thinking back about things. This could be an ex for some of you that's just thinking back about the good times that they have with you, you know, or this could be just somebody new, somebody that you've been with for a while that just, you know, needs to heal and they're thinking back towards the past and not really seeing the bright side but I feel like this is what's hap what happens before they you know go in and um heal themselves so it's like right now they're currently like just focusing on the past and not seeing you know their new opportunities which is you but you know this is them like on the process to kind of getting over that so that they can see because as soon as they get over that they're it's gonna be like oh my gosh like this whole time like we could have been like dealing with each other this way and they're just going to start realizing a lot of things. A lot of good things about letting go of things from the past and kind of moving on. And for some it couldn't, it might not even be like a person that they miss. It could just be like they've been hurt. So they just keep thinking like even though they have great times with you, they just keep thinking about when they were hurt. With, like when someone hurt them, you know, and they can't see beautiful new opportunities because every time they look at that and they picture that or they feel that amazing moment with you, they think like, I'm just going to get hurt again. I'm just going to get hurt again kind of thing, right? So with you, uh, we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys are in a very stable position. Your partner may be a little bit, you know, not so stable because they're trying to figure out their emotions trying to deal with their emotions but with you i feel like you know exactly what it is that you want you know you know you're very grounded you know you are an earth sign so i just feel like you know what you want you've sat on it you've thought about it and you know that this is a person that you want so you're going to be very patient with this person and let them have their time you know you're gonna let this come out very grounded and very stable because you know that if it goes the way that it's supposed to go you take your time you give them their time then they heal and you come back together then it's going to be something that's going to be long lasting but if it doesn't happen like that then you know it'll probably end really quickly because they'll still need to do their healing in the middle of being with you all right so one more card for the person that Virgo is dealing with. Definitely be dealing with a water sign. There's lots of water in this. So one more for the person that Virgo is dealing with. Okay. 
Okay, the tower. So I feel like definitely, okay, you guys could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio, first of all. Second of all, I feel like they're going to have this moment and, you know, I don't know whether it's going to be from going within or whether it's just going to be randomly from you taking your time. Sometimes that happens, you know, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Like when you take your time and you're not around them so much is when a Scorpio will 100% realize how much they miss you, how much you mean to them, you know, but when you're around them all the time, you're giving them love and not saying that you have to stop giving them love, but when you're always there, they don't, they may not necessarily realize as much as when, you know, you're taking a little bit of time away because Scorpios do get very attached, you know, they're fixed. So if you take time away, they definitely grow closer. They're very possessive too. So they want things to be close and not far from them. So I feel like what's going to happen is either you're going to take some time and it's going to create a tower moment for them where they're going to realize, shit, I need to get my life together. I need to get over this so that I can, you know, figure this out with this person. Or it's just going to be their own tower moment where, you know, things just start making sense to them and they can have a new start with you because of this, because they dealt with their emotions. And I feel like they know how hard it is going to be to deal with their emotions so that's why they're avoiding it but it's kind of at a point in their life where even if they try or they don't try they're going to have to face this and that's what's going to happen this week and once they do face this you guys are going to be able to have a new start together this is also them realizing their feelings for you um things could start to pick up a lot quicker than you think once they do get over this all right so the main energy between you guys is the six of uh, swords. So you guys are definitely going to be moving to a calmer space after this. Um, throughout this week, you're going to be moving towards calmer times, moving towards a better future together where there's not so much worries. You know, this person wants to make you feel safe. They want to make you feel like they are as stable as you are. So they are really going to be doing some work on themselves and kind of getting to the bottom of things. And it's going to be a, a big situation for them. And it's going to bring back a lot of trauma and a lot of dark memories and dark times. But, you know, knowing that they have you to come to when they're done with that is really what kind of pushes them to get through this. And I do see you guys moving towards calmer times together. Some of you guys could be going on a vacation after this. Um, yeah, so I just see you guys are definitely going to be moving towards calmer water soon. And this is going to be all over with and it's going to be like you guys are both going to feel as stable about the connection as the other one does so i hope this resonates with you guys and if you want a reading to see or i have a question you know just to ask something else about this anything that i didn't answer you guys can see my email at the bottom in the description box below and i will see you guys next week <laughs> i hope you guys have a wonderful week and yeah bye